down 82% off its high. Is Luminar Technology stock a buy? That's the question I'm going to answer in this video, looking at the company's financial metrics, its prospects, and valuation to come up with the answer if I think the stock is a buy on this huge dip here. So Luminar Technologies, if you don't know, makes LiDAR technology, which designs, builds, and sells long-range LiDAR products for global automotive OEMs and tech companies for autonomous driver driving driverless technology, which I think is a huge driver, a huge focus for many businesses worldwide, let alone the consumer side of that equation, right? If you can even ignore that massive consumer segment for driverless technology, which would be massive, think about the other side of the equation. How many companies, how many restaurants would love to have this driverless technology to reduce their shipping and transportation costs, right? And then think about the consumer side of that segment. How many people go on Uber, Lyft, and other ride sharing in the world today? And how much more would they if the driverless technology made each ride more affordable? I think it's a massive potential industry, but just because the potential is massive doesn't mean the stock is a good investment. Okay, so keep that in mind while we go through this company here. So looking at their trailing 12-month revenue, we could see phenomenal growth from Luminar Technologies going from about 13, 14 million in revenue trailing 12 months in January 2021 quadrupling that to 48.35 million in its most recent update. However, that growth in revenue hasn't helped the company improve its cash flow from operations. Looking at the chart here for cash flow from operations, it just seems to be moving in the wrong direction. As revenue grows, the company just loses more cash. So I don't see evidence of economies in scale here. Now, they did improve in the most recent quarter, but they've done that before only to continue falling further. So there isn't a consistent sequential consecutive improvement in cash flow from operations from Luminar Technologies here. And that's a bit concerning when I'm looking at a growth stock. I like to see I'm okay, I understand if these companies are losing money on the bottom line and generating negative cash flow. That's okay, I understand. To start up a company takes a lot of investment. But what I want to see is progress towards becoming cash flow positive. I want to see with every quarter or with every year, you're making progress towards getting toward to profitability. I don't want to see what I see here, which is moving in the wrong direction. The more revenue grows, the more money you lose. I see that as a fundamental risk in the company's sustainability in being able to fund itself longer term. And so if it is losing so much money, then the next thing I look at is how much cash do they have? And for Luminar, they've got 89.93 million in cash and equivalents. This is just cash and equivalents. It doesn't include other investments that the company can turn into cash later on but just right now how much cash they've got 89.93 million and if you compare that to the most recent quarter where they lost 64 million it looks like they're going to need to raise more capital in the next one or two quarters unless they show improvement in that cash flow loss so one of the ways a company raises cash is by selling more stock so that's the next thing i want to check out is has this company diluted shareholders and yes they have so what i have here is a chart of its average diluted shares outstanding going back all the way to january of 2021 and luminar has added uh going from 320 million shares up to 370 million shares so they've added 50 million shares uh, a little less than 20 percent uh to their share count and why does this matter? Well, this matters because eventually, or if the company ever reaches profitability, those profits are going to need to be split among more shareholders. So the more shares there are outstanding, 
the more those profits need to be split among those shareholders and so the profit per share decreases with more shares outstanding and finally I wanted to look at valuation looking at Luminar their forward price to sales ratio is 10.6 this is down significantly from the highs of around January of 2022 when they were trading at a forward price to sales of over 60 so now they've they're down to nearly one-sixth of that valuation arguably the lowest this company has traded for according to this metric going back at least 15 16 months so just because the stock is cheap again doesn't mean uh, just because the stock is relatively cheap doesn't mean the stock is cheap on its own right so a forward price to sales of 10 is not really cheap when you look at it in terms of the overall picture of all the stocks in the market today it's just cheap when you look at its own history relatively speaking it's cheaper than it's ever been so to answer the question is luminar technologies stock a buy i would say no not yet i would like to see more progress in this company's ability to reduce the cash flow from operations loss so the one thing the thing i'm going to be paying closest attention to in the next quarter is if this continued higher if they reduce this cash flow from operations as their revenue grew so I want to see revenue grow and their cash flow from operations simultaneously to decrease. If they can do that, that would be a big step in the right direction for me as an investor. But that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.